All right, welcome back. Um, so we are joined this time by a special guest, Billy. Hello. Um, and we have Dan, but Dan is uh, lagging right now, so who knows what will happen <laughs> happen there. Um, and we're going to play today Canyon, so Zufa Canyon. So the first regiment's agenda is a threat to your personal safety. It appears it's appropriate to get involved in the Fatita's messy business after all. Cross the mutant infested canyon to take the element of surprise and begin your extirpation of the entire first regiment from the west of the country. Um, so yeah, we're going to play this level. Um, it involves Carnage Man, um, which is voiced by Billy. Um, so uh let's hell yeah let's play um we start with the cutscene so this is a good cutscene i like this one this introduces one of tage's characters <laughs> <laughs> oh this is so cool i i said this is my first time seeing this <laughs> I look, this like weird stuff coming out of his finger. It was a late edition. I think, I, think I recorded my voice for this about ten years ago. <laughs> so like, well, there's no speaking in this cutscene. There's some some weird music. But... <laughs> uh, it's... Is this MS Paint? It looks a, a like lot the of it's MS Paint. a lot of it's MS Paint. So everything Dan drew was MS Paint. That's um, so cool. Like, um, a that's bunch like of outsider art. So anything. So this background of the canyon. It didn't really look like a canyon before, so I just I added it, and I don't think Dan really liked it to be honest. But <laughs> yeah, all all this other stuff, all the foreground stuff, all these like weird looking rocks. That's uh, that'll be MS Paint. Oh, that's extremely cool. Um, so yeah, so Billy, you're this guy, Carnage Man here. Hell yeah. Um, he. He's actually a character in one of the, like a really ancient game I probably made when I was about ten, um, which it was. It's like the shittest game. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically there's no like win condition. Or there's actually yeah, there's no win condition. There's no like challenge that you can't lose. You just walk around like shooting people in like poorly drawn, you know, ten year old. MS Paint art. Um, <laughs> anyway, we included. I think I might have game. played that at Fred's house. Yeah, you probably have. When I was like about a long 12. time ago. Yeah. Um, but and and also College Man Two, which was slightly better, but the same criticism applied. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, in this game, he's got like hundreds of guns. He's a, quite a big dude. It's just this dude's even bigger, um, and he's got like loads of guns and knives strapped to him. And it, he always has a ginormous gun when you see him. So. You know, when you saw him in the first level, he's got a huge minigun. Uh, and in this one, he's got like, I guess it's supposed to be like, you know, 20 orps from CS, like <laughs> strapped to each other. So the sound effect is like a really loud orp <laughs> shot. Um, I am. You're back there. Uh, Maybe. Yeah, I'm back, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, like, damn. I'll watch the video afterwards, see what happened. Hey, <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's, I, I was just giving an introduction to Carnage Man. So anyway, I'm going to press you and we'll hear your voice acting. Deal's done. Armory supplement is ours. Cunt, are you. <laughs> I mean, Kador. Are you all ready to fuck these douche cunt fucks? Like I said, yeah, lots I'm of cold. swearing. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have told my kids to uh, yeah. <laughs> download this. I forgot. <laughs> 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 exactly. Oh my god, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, man. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> entirely. They deserve less. Hey now, they helped you out of your different pit. I'm so fucking happy you are. He's one of the sweariest characters. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> totally forgot. We'll be crossing over soon enough. How do you feel about taking care of the contingency missiles? Any background on this story, Dan, if you're there? To be honest. I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. 
Same uh, yeah, to be honest, they probably won't get this far, hopefully. It's very hard. But then again, I mean, kids are so, probably so. good at playing video games, aren't they? I don't know. Um, fucking... I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of want to... I mean, there's loads of fucking shit to say. Uh, but, like, I don't know. It's fucking, uh, sorry, I got a bit thrown there. Fucking, I don't know, like, I guess I kind of want to apologize as well, because, like, and the Carnage Man's like, I thought of a fucking analogy for it, but it's probably really fucking unnecessary for an analogy, but, um, what can you say? Like, um, you know those, the universe began, those timelines that cosmologists have for, like, the beginning of the universe. Where it's like fucking the Big Bang happened and then like two peak those seconds later or something um, Something fucking subatomic happened and then like 12 nanoseconds later like fucking the temperature went down and Fucking the strong force could overcome it like their temperature and fucking make protons happen or whatever like and then like if you and then 14 billion years later it's us or whatever and if you zoomed out your name uh uh i assumed that was gonna say that you voice this very yes. early on in the creation um, <laughs> it, this is Tager by the way this is, uh, my fucking autonomous rule this is who? Tager Tager yeah oh, of course his character's supposed to be a massive dick character what was your background before yeah. corset Basically, I'm not I'm not particularly pleased with any of this writing shit, and I also <laughs> want to apologize for dragging you into that. But oh, no, also I'm wanna thank you shy. because No, you fucking you fucking oh, yeah. went for it as well. I mean there were occasional like you did a lot of lines because he comes across like in many, many progressing stages of the story. And some were oh, you know, good enough at a good enough standard. This wasn't exactly one of them, but you fucking took it and went for it anyway. So thanks very much for that. Um, I used this fucking bullshit analogy at the start because I wanted to fucking say that like replace the Big Bang occurred with somebody said, let's do movement and then replace two peak dose seconds later with and then and Greg says, and Carnage Man must be in it. Or Marcus says, no, we all said Carnage Man must be in it. Like, it was, you know, you were attached to an idea that was pretty much synonymous with the beginning of movement. So it's like a very, very, it's the oldest idea that comes with movement as well. And I mean, Carnage Man itself is like from a game that I don't know when the fuck you yeah, made I was, that, Greg. I like, spoke about that. I don't know how start, old yeah. were you then. Yeah, I was, I think, probably so like, about 10 or maybe even like less than that. I was definitely in primary school. Right, right. So, and like, no, I would assume, like, not a fucking sophisticated parody of Duke Nukem slash fucking um, oh, well, Arnold Schwarzenegger the, I mean, or whatever. Yeah, in this game, originally, it was not ordinate ass. It was just yeah but like yeah so like you know you've got you've got like uh i don't know all over the place in terms of what i want to talk about here in terms of like the mix of ideas that's in movement and stuff like things have been coming back to me after doing this about like how there's a fucking mix of uh you know the stages of when we were making it and stuff and like yeah, How after a year so, as well, so long, you know? like putting more serious things in and like getting a mix of shit, you know, I'd have to talk about it like from the fucking beginning again, but like fuck that. Seriously. Uh, <laughs> bit of commentary on you should probably skip this incredibly long conversation. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's, it's, um, you know, I, it's a very long conversation you can have. There is a mission you can get out of this actually, yes, where you, you. So basically, this is a big canyon and it's full of mutants you, yes, um, who are actually based on the Quake 
one this barrel, mutants this or like barrel, zombies who like I you have to kill them with explosives and then they throw their limbs at you. Me, living, um, so you've got explosives. I can't really hear you, Greg. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, basically, it's a big, it's a big um, canyon, and you have to get to the other side. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, you have to blow up some mutants anyway. But there's a mission you can get where you. So oh shit. Yeah, where that, you that was everything. have to kill more mutants than Abbey Mountain and Carnage familiar. Man, so I'm just going to talk to them. The base was the perfect vessel for it, and it's a sign, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. <laughs> now is the time. Not really. Sure. Don't worry, Kado. I'll make do. It is my just duty listen to some of your to good fulfill delivery. the precious opportunity given to me. It's so weird hearing your own voice <laughs> in a video game. <laughs> like, they yeah, yeah, no, there's you. better. There's better parts where you come through. It's just like. Okay, here's two things. I don't want to be insulting to like, you know, any part of it. And not, I mean, you were fine. And I, you know, again, you went and went ahead and gave all this, um, you know, despite like it not being good character. I dropped the ball with Carnage Man as well, because like you could have done, it reminds me of, have you ever watched Oz? I've seen uh, No, but I know of it. It's the lots and like sexual assault in prison show uh yeah well yeah it's actually a gateway <laughs> for H hbo like i yeah, think a like lot of TV you watch any classic thing. hbo shows we watched and there's um there we go there's kind of right you see his orbs <laughs> It, so this um, this level, the actual best strategy, it's one of the first levels where the best strategy is to just literally fly over the whole thing and skip everything. Um, <laughs> but, which is a common strategy, at least on this first part. It's kind of a two-part level. Um, but the, you know, the sort of intended way you play is to sort of follow these. They, they follow you, but you should go with them and they'll take you across. I remember I showed an early version of this to someone. I think it might have been Oscar, but anyway, I showed an early version of this to someone and they were just like, what the fuck? <laughs> they couldn't <laughs> tell, like, because there's no floor in certain screens and stuff, so it's just like, what are you even supposed to do at all? Like, um, so, so do the blue squares refill your jetpacky thing? Yeah, the mana, so you got mana for spells, mana, yeah. and so you got, yeah, this is flow. So when you right click, you just sort of go up in the air with this. Yeah, um, but there's others. You've got fly. So if I if I press T, that's bound to T. You can just literally just fly towards a mouse. Oh, okay, wow. <laughs> then, uh, but you've got float as well, which is nice. And then there's like, uh, well, it's got slow time, um, which is fun. Pretty useful against these turrets. Um, what else? Yeah, you've got bone walls. So you can kind of make. Oh, I died. Can make like little platforms for yourself. Oh, that's extremely cool. Uh, but it's a bit, you know, it's been niche that bone wall. Um, there's also fast sight, which lets you look further. So yeah, but the blue squares give you mana for that stuff. Um, you got like RPG launcher. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, the dogs here. So these these mutant dogs, um, they were sort of based off the dogs from Red Alert, which kill yeah. infantry immediately. So yeah, they yeah, yeah. they will like fuck you up if you touch them. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I hate so, yeah. those fucking dogs. Man. Yeah, you have to be really careful. There. I mean, I just, <laughs> they they jump at you, and then they will like, <laughs> yeah, literally just if they touch you. Like, <laughs> you know, so I died from that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So yeah, you can sort of boost as well with the double tapping of directions. And then yeah, grenade launch is pretty fun. Oh. Just, yeah, some slow time. This is like definitely suddenly there's way more action on this level than the earlier ones. Like, yeah, I can see that it's ridiculous. <laughs> so... Like, I've lost Carnage Man and Abbey Mountain. I don't know where they are. They'll be making their way here. <laughs> yeah, here he is. So Carnage Man just, like, using his massive, like, orb cannon to do, you know, jumps off the floor. 
just sort of shoots I like down. the floating guys with knives. <laughs> yeah, they're little robot things. Drones. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. And I'm also drinking potions as well, so pressing like one and two to regain my health. Oh, okay, now. yeah, yeah. Because, um, so you can see I've got 25 of each there. Um, because otherwise that's really hard. And that was an interesting thing as well, it's from Diablo 1. And I sort of... Yeah, yeah. I liked in Diablo 1 the sort of, when you get hit and you're like frantically having to drink potions because it's sort of yeah. like... You know, there's a it's a bit like tense moment when you got to drink potions, and I wanted to put potions in for that reason, really, because I like that feeling, and it definitely did translate, which is kind of funny. But... Yeah, yeah, no, I, I think that's a really cool um, mechanic, actually. I really like that that thing where you're just tapping way too fast and you're drinking all of your potions yeah. stupidly. But it's not um... it's not that intuitive, but I like it anyway. It's a, it's a... <laughs> one of those things um so we're actually almost at the end of this first part um you be, uh, like i say you kind of cross the canyon like that um the other thing to say is you can kill abbey mountain and he'll, he'll fight you uh, on this level but that's a little bit of a spoiler um, <laughs> and i actually probably wouldn't recommend it for a first playthrough because more happens when you leave him alive but um that seems very de Deus Ex. Yeah, well, well Deus like, Ex is a huge, in, in, yeah. You can tell, yeah, on like, this game, yeah. Deus Ex one's so cool. Uh, like even the um, like the icons remind me a bit of Deus Ex. Sort of, really? Like up in the inventory, like yeah. Like, the, I would the text. It's something. Something reminds me of Deus Ex. I mean, yeah. There's a lot. Like there's even like augments so i've got a few augments here and, oh, I've, got, of course. I, oh, like, I've got the aggressive defense system from deus ex on this level oh fantastic you can also like i think in deus ex there's a skull gun you read in like gunther's trying to like get a gun implanted in this this head. is not when they're least expecting it <laughs> i genuinely thought uh, dan was back <laughs> from uh, lagging out then <laughs> <laughs> Just the one liner. It's like, chill out, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, now we're at the base and we have to infiltrate this base. Um, and, uh, so, yeah, we, the best strategy here, basically, oh, okay. is Fuck. to let, let these guys. <laughs> that was actually Dan coming back. That again. was Dan. <laughs> that could, could have also been from the game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> fucking in Okay, I'll be back in like two minutes. One sec. That's um, fucking annoying. That's one sec. Are you there, so Dan? fuck. Anyway, he's still like. I think basically the Wait. best um, strategy here. It's quite quite tricky um, this bit because there's loads of these. All the way to the right. There's loads of these tanks, okay. which are like way too hard for this part of the level. Right now, I'm back. For part of the game. Yeah. What the fuck did I miss? That's so fucked. <laughs> Are you there, Dan? What did I miss? You missed. Well, Billy's gone for a minute. Uh, you lagged out. We missed. We did the first part. I just have to get there. This, this is not when they're least expecting it. So this Whatever. level. This. Is probably way too hard, as I said, for it was hard to get to the end. You have to okay, kind of let Okay, I, I got it. So, how many bitches am I allowed? And... As many as you <laughs> In terms of in terms of me bitching, um, like I don't know, like Canyon Two, yeah, it's a bit spammy. It's just a bit spammy at the start, only because, only because. Um, like fucking, uh, I don't know, like the, we made it, it was made after, uh, you know, sub, um, not sub, fucking sea base, fucking, um, jungle, Back it. Fucking, all the way to the right, uh, um, Yeah, it sounds like an L again. So the the strategy really is to ones. let these guys. I can't be fucked. Do most this of the work. Fucking too laggy. For... So uh, I'm gonna do. Yeah, 
actually, no, you, do, you need to kill all the guys. Nice thing about the rocket launch is you can kind of kill it. So yeah. <laughs> Are you there about Dan? I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> anyway. It sounds like you are. Um Yeah. Alright, do can like I feel so bad for bitching. But I gotta bitch about this. So we start we did like, you know, after this you got Toxic Kill, Bridge, fucking Cave, Jungle, all this stuff. And like that started out with like, you know, okay, so Toxic kill, you got stationary rocket guys for the first time. <laughs> Slowly introduce uh, this yeah. enemy and shit. And then, and then, like, yeah, jungle is like bayonet guys for the first time. You you can't beat them with melee because they'll stab you. And then it's like, this is before those, and they're all kind of like piled at once. You can see where I'm going with that. Um, yeah. yeah. Also, There's... the solution, I don't know. There's uh, too much going on in this level for where it is. Uh, you're right. I think, especially to have like four Sheridan tanks, which just completely wreck you. Um, so basically, uh, right? Exactly. I mean, they inter you play bridge after this, and it's like, be careful. There's a new weapon called the Sheridan <laughs> tanks, and it's like, sh <laughs> and it gives you three, you know, and it introduces them as like a bit, a bit hard. I'm gonna just kill myself. There's like eight here or something. Or six, I don't know. But yeah, it's, you know. Not bad. This is I'm not back. when they're least expecting it! Now yeah, one liners. Very loud and quite <laughs> placed in an annoying place, but... And and you're gonna hear it a lot. Cause you do I mean I'd die on this fucking yeah, one. I'm surprised um, I beat it that yeah. easily just then. So but... it's funny you're doing the same it's interesting you're doing the same strat I do, which is to kind of essentially not play the game. You just let these and, two like, deal with it. And like zoom over. If you jump the in roof. when there's all these uh, Sheridan tanks, I... you get fucked up. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you have to let them kind of take it slowly. Yeah. And, and, uh, and because basically I'm I programming we... shit, so these guys don't attack uh, yeah, go on. Carnage Sorry. Man and Abbey Mountain, it's just the Sheridan tanks do. Um, and then they also, have, they need you to be more forward for them to go and take on these tanks. So it does force you to go in there eventually, but uh, we'll just jump in with slow time. Back it. All the way to the right! But the it's, tanks... It's amazing really... that your strategy is the same as uh, the Labour Party's. <laughs> all the way to the right, yeah. Fuck it! All the way Getting to the right! Getting political again on this, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that happened last time, we yeah, couldn't help it. <laughs> I love that he's he's gonna his government's gonna fall because he can't accept stop accepting small treats. Like, he's yeah. It's so, so good. He's just like it's, oh, it's so but it, that that is the funny thing about British corruption is it's all so like like Low value. By the way, another strategy <laughs> is like once you get them down onto the ground floor, or the floor before you are below, you stay above. I stayed above a bunch. Can you get them to go to the right and kill that last tank without going down? No, 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 no. Sorry, I thought you meant to the left. They can clear out the left underneath oh, you left. if you go above. Ah, I see north. what you mean. Yeah, you can Left. you can jump back up here, and they'll come and like, yeah. I can demonstrate that. Actually. And then you, then you can drop down after less risk of dogs and shit. Yeah, that's a good idea. I actually never. Yeah, and you've got the health and everything. You can just teleport in here. Yeah. 
Yeah, because there's dogs in there, and the dogs, as we mentioned before, are very strong. But yeah, I guess the trick is to use Carnage Man and Abbey Mountain as much as you can. Which, you know, there's parts where you can't, you have to sort of cajole them a bit more like you know. Stay out of the way and do things like launch a rocket, guide it up there. So, like little strategies, little tactics you can use to. I I thought you were over overestimating how hard. So it I mean, at this and point, no, I don't think that. Um... Yeah, I think. It's because I know what to do, but uh, it, I'm actually surprised because I usually die here too. Not uplifting. <laughs> Good one, mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a little strategy, yeah. So the other thing with these little robots is you can... So I, I came up with a strategy if you don't want to jump down here to teleport on this guy's head and you can actually control <laughs> these little robots if you jump on their head by... Oh wow. Which I, isn't really used very often. But you can sort of float along here. It's harder when you've got a helicopter shooting at you and stuff. But, um, Most things are. Rocket okay, yeah. guys. Yeah, but so that's another strategy because then you can sort of edge forward and fight these guys while well, Carnage Man and Abbey Mountain deal with the tanks down here and you don't have to sort of be in their line of fire. But, um, so that was the idea of that. Um, yeah, you gotta slaughter those motherfuckers yeah, oh, there's in a the book bed. Here. There's a book here. Should we read that though? Uh, this is. Oh, it's Nietzsche. <laughs> it's 817 <laughs> pages of a full book. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope for someone that someone this is how someone reads Beyond Good and Evil. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of these actually. There's a lot of like philosophy books and yeah. That's so funny. Fucking hell, that's so good. <laughs> there's, a, there's like books on geometry, which obviously is going to be very heavy on diagrams, and they're just not present in the book in the, in the game. But oh, just... that's so good. Oh. Sorry, that made me. Uh, that's just so like, fucking funny. The way it determines what's the next page is it just like has a number of characters, so it just will like cut a word, so opposed. <laughs> <laughs> I like that it only goes halfway down to the page as well. Well, like... that's because I just picked a <laughs> random amount. Like sometimes if there's lots of new lines and stuff, it will go way off the page if you don't cut it oh. really short. So we just cut it really short. Really short. Oh, that's so good. Obviously, like you say, the best way to read. Beyond good and evil, so. I like I like the idea there's going to be some kind of apocalyptic event and this is going to be the last way that people can read <laughs> Nietzsche. Like, yeah. like all, all you the know, physical the... copies that destroy. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just oh my god, um, one has survived. I um, think the fun... there's um actually if you win every objective on every level, then you get a global award in the in the menu so in the menu there's a section for global awards it's like sort of achievements kind of stuff and uh if you win every objective then you get one which is a picture of iron rand's face called objectivist and if you <laughs> click on that it reads out the whole of atlas shrugged in text to speech <laughs> <laughs> You guys are so stupid. This is wonderful. <laughs> and the oh, funniest part, that's what, so like, good. When I, like, for ages, putting the whole of Atlas Shrugged into the text to speech um, would just immediately crash the fucking game. So I actually had to, like, break it up and make it, like, you know, only do give it a section at a time. So there's actually, like, <laughs> some. Oh, some... man. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's so dumb. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah. There's probably secrets in some of these on my some random page and shit like that as well. So yeah, uh, so yeah and you've got to kill these guys. Which, again, you might not understand. But, uh, I guy? mean, um... There we go. Yeah, canyons are fucking... Trial, isn't it right? I mean, um, 
what, what can I say? Like, like you know, if a, if your average Joe made it here, and and beats it, I mean, it's it's a test to get through, you know. Like yeah, not a... just even the difficulty, but kind of like the tongue is very far in cheek. It's kind of fucking <laughs> protruding through the cheek skin at this point. Like <laughs> if if you're not on board with that, then you're kind of like you're gonna be turned off. But then I don't know. But then after that, I mean, it changes. I mean, it's. I'd like to. I'd like to discuss later on through the fucking levels, like um, how the tone has shifted, like how how the fucking um, how the fucking. Uh, I'm just gonna call it journey, for lack of a better word, of like the fucking how it's taken you through the game at that point, how it's kind of been and stuff. Um, I think at this point, it's a hump. And at this point, I think it's one to get over for your average yeah. fucking gamer not knowing what the fuck to expect. Yeah, the difficulty but, uh, is, is, is a lot for this. It, it suddenly jumps up and then it goes back down again, I think, a little bit. Um, yeah. Right, 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 right. But also just like it's very, like you say, it's quite silly. Quite silly <laughs> in parts, you know. Um, but yeah. Should we? There's a cutscene, right? right? So should we go to the cutscene? Yeah. Right, let's yeah, so... So this cutscene, what can you say about it? I don't know. I think, oh yeah, at this point, you'll notice he doesn't have arms. <laughs> He's fine. Were you going to uh, animate them? Like, in their life? At the bottom, still sure. But huh? Were you going to add true. arms and animate them? Privilege the among them. That's you enough. That's safe. Yeah, yeah, I was going to animate the fucking arms. Will come your way. But obviously, but at this point, it was kind of a race we still have between cutscenes and what gets done question. first. I don't know the answer. And um to discover the answer. Like Shit, even not to discover it, but to change it. Things would not get finished. Happiness. And I think I really wanted to convey like that grand man, we can't do any fucking filler. We can't throw in anything that's good enough. I really want it to be conveyed that like better for us all. This I have to be with We ran out of time or something, or like this was not how it was envisioned to be. And I want it to be very fucking obvious kind of thing. Yeah, I, I would have gaping holes in See, like I would have papered over the cracks and put arms here, but Dan insisted no, if we're not doing the No, I've got it's gotta be very, very obvious that this is not what I wanted. <laughs> what we wanted the same thing. by the border you know like you know um and That's that so and good. unfortunately again another reason why it's a fucking hump for people specifically to your spot. is that then I have um you know people might be like well that's not fucking You're effort is it um at that point word, and like um you're it's like, why should I keep enduring when when you like haven't you been fucking player. bothered to put arms on him and shit? I'm asking you because this starts happening a lot more in cutscenes now. Oh wait, um, a lot I'm more Slayer's filler comes in. But you know, got to show that, got to communicate that. I'm afraid. <laughs> I was not aware of. Slayer's I echo incident. through all of that. Oh, yeah, very you know, annoying. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, to be aware, that's oh. some vague metaphysical boundaries we're on, right? Do you? The ground units change. So that's Danji again. Yeah, Malachi. it's appropriate. Danji, fucking great. Um, and you can I also feel well. No, I don't feel fire. guilty. Like it's about that. he came, he came to stuff appropriately prepared. Uh, but this cutscene in particular, like it's a mix of a really fucking early thing he did, a really early recording. And uh, one when I went back to get some more lines. Yeah, I was going to say you went back. So it's a mix between two. After events, you will be off the broadcast. Yeah, because we needed we needed more, we needed lines for another thing, and then it's like, well, fuck it, I haven't made this scene yet. So um, another file Parliament linked to me. Might as well might as well clean it up and get the new lines for this scene and keep the old ones that will remain in it. So he's he's kind of a fucking pastiche. That's the encryption key we need to open it. He needs mine to read his too. You have someone who can confirm this? The animation's yeah. fat, like spectacular. Who I really like it. <laughs> I cannot no say. Yeah, there's... No way. No, it's so cool. It's, it's like really old school anime. Like when they superior. 
I have many about you. Why his hair's given anime, isn't it? Dude? Yeah, the yeah the, the, the the hair has to be like over the top. I never I never told Dan what his character looked like. Um, so it's funny because he brought some originality to it that way because he plays him like an American, like like a very straight laced suit wearing American. I would I would associate with the voice he does. So like you wouldn't you know if someone if someone was to see that character profile. Well, they'd probably do it fucking broody right um potential yeah. but he does it very like as he referred to him like a fucking republican or something uh so i think that's a good original mix christmas's that... brothel would be the meeting place for them for tonight's siege yeah so what's That'll going on in this all your questions then? what they've been up to they'll congregate um what did you what did you get from it I'll give you them. probably know the story more well, than yeah, other was, people. I've, I obviously will not be paying it to it. Wrap it up nice to it this time, but what? So it might get messy. People you, can die. You do expect Hex um, Brother to, to know Malachi and be working with more to the ones time, who've right? died before for you to get here. But then. Here is the you list. Wait, say that one more time. You do expect Hex to what? Hex to be working with Malachi. Certain paucities of reference. Like he's supposed to be. Yeah, Malachi, well, he's yeah. working for Malachi. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, everyone in Corsair yeah. technically yeah. is. Yeah. The red um, spectrum from them. And I then, assume they have it. Since but, uh, but he's like holding stuff like, over yeah. his head. I mean, the whole looking. the whole thing with Hex, and this is his killing right? machine cut. I was with Christmas. You right. saw. And Which now is when the black text, the black text uh, comes on the back. Who back holding back. over whose head? What were? I I think Malachi is holding stuff over his head. So say I. But any evidence. Here, corset surveillance yeah, yeah, yeah. shows you. Um, yeah. Transport ways beach. Uh, but like, I think the whole thing with Hex is like you're supposed to wonder like. Complex. From there, another transport ways back this time to E25. Have you dropped That's that again? wild surveillance. You can't use that. <laughs> the first level. But then. It's pretty evident that he's he's wi he's willing to blackmail a person to invisible. fucking wipe out you a whole manner of full of people, right? What did yeah. you two do? Um. I don't you wonder what his end game is, blah, 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 blah. He well, not that you wonder either, but file. that's one of the things that's set up. In the meantime, whatever. before he answers that question, since you've access to the schematics of that wild Xanax, bring them up, sir. Get some bitch to do it then. That annex is 300 <laughs> antediluvian feet underground. Reinforced concrete coating a quadruple layer of titanium sheet cover. Like oh, weapons are there. Feet. Discussion yeah, what the fuck? file did commence. <laughs> I think an assault was it anti like to unlock the encryption pre... this way around. Of course, he doesn't hear that. So scrambler interference is installed too. Yeah, thanks for the alibi, Malachi. No, I didn't know what Kator or Slayers were doing at that time. No communication spared that between me and Gun in that closed bunker. And the I really the love the shine on his nose from Malachi. <laughs> <That's laughs> Mr. Me, you so impressive. You're a mystery. You make no sense. You're old school. What's the no, matter with you? Is, is Dignity so cool. is long since I think been some of the um, some of the background as is it just should like have. Game we can speak freely then, for construction, um, but you still I mean, live for some point, fucking pride, an old school some of the, pride and dignity. Some of the, you fucking some of the need it, the, like this fucking this bitch. Thing. Shut your fucking mouth. Don't think you're beating me. Don't you think for one second that I'm taking this personally, that you're beating me as a person? <laughs> Curse it is not me. That is not me. I don't give a fuck if you play out your pathetic little rebellion for the people. I... Yeah. See what happens when you give them the most of the freedom. <laughs> see what people do for you when they let you down. Wait till you see this whole mess of diversity left unchecked. Do you really know all the real fucking freaks and their... Fucked proclivities and the vast range of incompatibilities to account for? You think they can order themselves? Fucking Eastern Kingdom as an example. But this will be a bigger right. mess, as it's one not united under that one drive of monetary facility. You will weaken our country if we think like you, and then the outsiders will come and kill you. I like all the cuts but again, like dance. Because I'll be in power. Yeah. It, and I'll it kill looks you. all the. Um... You know, owned. You that stuff. It's so cool. You're like, I, I'm, I'm so impressed with like <laughs> one arm tied behind your back by using MS Paint most of the time. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So that's that cutscene. So, um, 
actually now we actually get a choice of which level to do next so that's that's uh, the first one and to be fair i also if you know what we should have probably done is give you a choice earlier on so that you're not just stuck on levels and you can play a few different levels earlier on but um, once you get to canyon yeah you get more than one um, more than one choice uh, but yeah i'm not sure which one we'll do next time but um I think let's leave it there. Um, sorry about the uh, <laughs> disconnects and all of that shit. But, um, Hi, I'm back. I'm back. Anything <laughs> I was about to sign off that. Anything else you want to say? Is Dan oh. really back? <laughs> uh, all right. yeah, you... I'll just say thank you for having me. This is. I, I'm gonna actually play this game now. Yeah, um, do it, and we'll, we'll obviously get you back on again. Um, yeah, cool, for sure. Yeah, like, it's been really fun. up a lot more. Um, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Let's stop there.